A new tool promises to help Phoenix firefighters with mountain rescues. The department will start using drones to help stranded or injured hikers. ABC 15's Claudia Rupsich explains how it'll save time and money. This is perfect hiking weather, but during the summer, every second during a rescue counts. Those drones will be flying over Camelback Mountain. The goal is to find the hiker and get them help faster. Hello. Hi. The Phoenix Fire Department responded to 240 mountain rescues in 2021. This year, they'll start using drones, which will be faster and less expensive than sending the helicopter to find a stranded hiker. A lot of the times these hikers, they get off trail or they don't know where they are. So there's not a lot of access points to South Mountain. So if we could get there, launch this drone, find where that person is and then relay those coordinates and then they can actually get to that person and help them. Captain Todd Keller will be one of the first certified drone operators. He says the drones will also be able to deliver small items. If there's a um, situation where someone is out of water, uh, we could bring water to them or a cell phone battery is dying, we can deliver that cell phone and we can continue that communication. The drones will especially be helpful in the hot summer months. Last year, the city voted to close Piestawa and Camelback from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on days with an excessive heat warning after several firefighters had heat-related issues due to back-to-back -back rescues. This was a hard enough hike in January. I can't imagine in the summer months. So I think if something were to happen, you slip and you get injured, I would certainly hope somebody could get to me relatively quick. Keller says the drones will also be used for brush fires and commercial fires. This could be the difference of life and death. If we're in a big commercial structure of fire, a restaurant fire, and we see from an elevated position that this roof is starting to collapse. Hey, we know to get our firemen and women out of there. The department will get three to four drones this year. They hope to have them up in the air by June 1st. In Phoenix, I'm Claudia Rupsich, ABC 15 Arizona.